Hey you guys, how you doing? I think we are live, so that is very fantastic. We made it to yet another Wednesday, so that makes me very happy. Oh, and I have the chat window up for you guys. Willie, how you doing? Hopefully we'll we'll have quite a bit of uh, people here. That's the only thing I could. I'm going to make the chat bigger. Oh, there you are, Willie. How cool. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me, my friend. I always appreciate you. You know that. So let's see who else is here. So night before Thanksgiving. John, how you doing? Good to see you. So cool. Those erasers are on the way, so that's good. So glad to see you, John. Uh, sort of a preemptive Thanksgiving live stream. So did I... Ah, oh, doing well, John. Thank you. Nick, how you doing? Doing some great artwork over there, Nick. So always good to see you. Look at this. So I have my Merry Everything cup and filled with green tea and lime, which is really hot. I almost burned my esophagus off. Mike, how's it going? Good to see you, Mike. So glad you're here. Uh, so, <laughs> oh, that's great. So on the, on the large screen, so you can see uh, all the uh, painting that we're doing of uh, Kevin O'Leary. So did I draw a curveball doing Kevin O'Leary from Shark Tank? What do you guys think of that? After all these years, right? You know? Oh, you super sicko. Yes, I'm a Shark Tank fanatic as well. So my hope is is that uh, Mr. Wonderful will see this portrait and then he'll be like, uh, he won't be like, uh, you're dead to me, as he usually says to people who he doesn't like. So hopefully he'll like it. You never know, right? That's how I look at it. Plus, we're going to learn. And, you know, I really haven't um, explored the male portrait. And this is something I think is great. Monty, all the way from... South Africa, how are you? Thank you so much. And we have Patty. Patty, how are you? So great to see you. We're going to do a lot of cutting techniques today. So you're going to see sort of uh, how I go and go about, um, you know, mapping out some of the... Uh, some of the cutouts to get some hard edges. So you see I have five uh, sort of cutouts. So let me go ahead and, Wendy, how are you? How you feeling? And so I did throw you for a loop, huh there, Willie? That's for sure. And let's see, uh, Mike says he has a report for me. He was able to get a 3D printed handles made and they are awesome. Makes the world of difference for, oh, that is wonderful. Turkey cake. Turkey cake is rare, but it might be scary. <laughs> oh, I hope you feel better, Wendy. Lots of prayers going out to you that you feel better. You're a big friend to the channel, and I hate when you're not feeling well. And Brad, good to see you. And Nick says he suffers from carpal tunnel. Yeah, that's rough, you know. It's like something you love to do, and then it's painful for you. That's really kind of you know, daunting to say the least. So, hey, what's up, Roy? How you doing? Good to see you, sir. So Roy's in the house. I'm glad to see that. So really a good group for the night before Thanksgiving. At one year, I think it was one guy, uh, Jersey Joe, and it was just me and him one night. I think it was two years ago, and I think last year, Willie remembers... There was just like four or five of us, right, Willie? I mean, that was pretty, pretty interesting. So, uh, so great. And so right now, and we're going to go ahead and let's just jump right into it, as the YouTube guys say. And let's uh, make my head smaller. There we go. There, Tim's out of the way. We don't need to see my head too big. There you go. Nice and small. Yeah, people say I look better far away, you know, or with, I look better far away and in a dark room. And if you're wearing sunglasses, I look even better. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, 
Let's get this party started. So, you see the reference of Mr. Wonderful over there. And so now we have, uh, we have this uh, image right here, the drawing. And my job is to go ahead and really I want to uh, start by painting in the background and I don't want to dirty anything up. So this is the route we're going to go. So let's move our artwork away. Always move our artwork away. I don't think you have to change your blade all that often. You know, some people do one and change it. I don't feel that way. That's just my own feelings. Uh, not necessarily the best way, but I just don't like, tr you know, change because it's expensive and anything that's going to raise the money going in the wrong direction for me is something that I want to fix, you know. Uh, now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and I'm going to cut around everything but the background. And so let's go ahead and make that happen. Now, one of the things when I'm cutting, you always, and someone told me this, and it's a great, great technique, is that you want to, when you're cutting, you want to look just, uh, just before where you're going to cut. And what happens is, believe it or not, your, your hand and eye kind of go there. It's much easier. So, this is regular inkjet paper, and this is an X-Acto blade, I think it's a number 11. And what we're going to do, because right now it's just, it's all about the background, right? It's all about the background right now. This is construction time, right? This is how we construct our painting. Uh, that sort of thing. There we go. And I'll just I'll just extend this all the way out like this. Just like that. And we'll just extend this all the way up. Ah. There we go. Sorry for the mess there, but really it's only important right over here. So we'll move this aside. We may need it, so let's leave it aside, right? And let's do the same on this side here. So I'm really only going to caref be carefully cutting uh, where I need it to be. Oh no, this is just regular paper. Hey Todd, how you doing? Good to see you. Oh Wendy, this is just regular paper, regular inkjet paper. And I'm not using contact paper, I'm just avoiding it. And this is my way to avoid using contact paper. Yet still keeping my edges super clean. And I remember Mr. Leahy said that he likes to uh, make sure that he doesn't uh, drag the paper. So he makes sure that he always cuts uh, in a direction of where he uh, actually cut before, rather than dragging away from a cut. Of course, I'm not explaining it as well as Mr. Leahy does on his live streams. Every Monday night at 6 p.m. Eastern Time and that's on Facebook on his channel so I I don't miss it it's must-see TV for me so see right here instead of pulling from the opening I'm actually gonna go this way much better you don't you don't pull the uh, paper there we go and we're just going to continue. Let's see what you guys are saying. Uh, Wendy, yes, I'm so sorry to hear that, you know. And, you know, lots of prayers going to your mom. You know, you really don't have to press hard at all. That's the beauty of this. You don't have to press hard.
Bam! Okay, so that was good, that, that side effects, right? sound effects, right guys? Bam! Okay, uh, there you go. Sound effects, they're free. Bam! Okay, there we go. All right, so uh, Patty says, Wendy, lots of prayers. Very true. Thank you, Patty. You know, that's so great. Now it kind of looks like he has like a, a turban on or something like that. But like I said, we're cropping over here. So everything, it's all good. All right, let's take, uh, we still need Mr. Blade. So what we're going to do is we have to keep this on the surface when we spray so we're going to make little football shapes because the thing is you can make them bigger I used to do a hole punch but you end up doing a lot of hole punching a lot of punching and uh, you know unless you're a boxer you don't want to do a lot of punching and Let's see. So have you all seen how clean my studio looks behind me? So I'm in like month three of, of Neat and Tidy Tim. Not Tiny Tim. Well, that is a Christmas carol, right? That's kind of fitting with the holidays coming. But Tidy Tim, T-I-D-Y, Tim. So that's... That's my new MO, my motive, motive um, operandi. So that's, so I'm trying to be tidy. So no more Felix, no more Oscar Madison and Mr. Felix Unger. Yes, they are footballs. So the footballs, yeah, Wendy, it's like, so they're bigger. And you're going to see, I'm going to put tape on it so it sticks onto the surface. You know, it's pretty cool. Thanks, Wendy. Yeah, more space for the tape and uh, just, you know, better adhesion and less uh, crawling underneath. So all that stuff is really pretty cool. All right, so let's do a couple uh, across. So, you know, take our time, you know. It's Wednesday before Thanksgiving, right? It's kind of a chill kind of feel here. You know, so I'm gonna have a uh, interview with Ken from Badger pretty soon. So that's exciting. I spoke to him today. So I'm looking forward to that. Maybe even this weekend. So it might be a live stream. If it is, I'm gonna email you guys. And if you haven't, uh, if you're not on my email list and you wanna catch that live and maybe even ask Ken some questions, uh, you can go ahead and uh, email me at paintedglyphs at gmail.com lots of footballs yeah Thursday night football no oh it's Wednesday so Thursday night football tomorrow and we have football here in the United States that's a big Thanksgiving day we have like four games you know so that is great I'm a football fan but I don't watch it like religiously because you know, my life is so busy. Uh, I try to, you know, squeeze in family time uh, when I'm not working, you know. So, but once in a while I'll catch a game. I'm a big Falcons fan. Uh, oh, yeah, I would love to go on the Shark Tank series, but I think they would all laugh at me as my revenue. They would be like, Tim, you're not a, an entrepreneur, you're a entrepreneur. And uh, that would actually be kind of fun, but yeah, I think they will laugh at me. I'd be like, I want like $5,000 for 90% of my business. <laughs> yeah, that's about what I'm worth right now, my friends. Yes, I'll take... Uh, a, you know, I'll take $5 and some car fare for 20% of my business. <laughs> yeah, I crack myself up, don't I? You know, someone's got to laugh at me, at my jokes. So, now this is part of, uh, you know, Neat Tim. Look at this. So, so here you see my shavings, right? I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I deposit them in 
the trash receptacle and any other shavings put aside and let's take a sip of the green tea so I'll be like I want 30% of my company for a pack of cigarettes and a couple of uh, a couple of DVDs <laughs> I could keep going with that. That's funny. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. And ah, uh, thank you. Well, you guys are great, so it's easy to be giving to you guys. You know, you guys and girls. It's easy to be giving to good people. You know. Yes, exactly. I value my company at uh, $523. <laughs> oh my God. But I love, I love Shark Tank. I really do. It inspires me, you know. How many of you out there watch Shark Tank? And uh, what do you think of uh, Mr. O'Leary here? He plays the villain, but he's really a nice guy. And I've seen interviews with him. And, you know, one of the things I admire about Mr. Leary, I, I don't just paint people, you know, okay, take your time, Wendy. Uh, one thing I don't just, you know, is the fact that uh, he came from nothing, you know. Uh, I wouldn't say come from nothing. That's the wrong. But he came from humble beginnings. And so that's always fantastic. And he was in the education industry. And so... Yeah, I mean, there's a lot to really admire him, and he really isn't a villain. He does a lot of good things. So, that's another thing. Plus, this picture is so darn, uh, this picture is just so darn nice, you know, with the lights and darks and the details. I think it would be a really good learning experience for everybody. And myself, for that matter, you know, it's a little challenge, so challenge is always good. So you're putting the tape uh, right on the uh, front of it, so the back of it has a sticky part, okay? And like you said, make sure that every one of these holes are covered, because they're not. When you spray, you're going to have a football shape on Mr. Wonderful, and I'm sure he's not going to appreciate that all too much, you know? Oh, wow, she was actually running for for office. How amazing. Wow, because I know he is Canadian. That's correct, right? And so is Rob Hershevek, who's... Yeah, you can tell I watch a lot of Shark Tank. I know all their names. Rob Hershevek as well. I mean, it took me a while to remember Hershevek, because that's not easy. Okay, uh, so... Here comes our detailed drawing and look how light it is light is always right in the beginning remember that timism that light is always right and that's going to get you far you know so you know you go too dark too early too late oh that's another one hey willie i'm coming up with all these are you writing these down for me sir <laughs> too too dark too early too late i love that I'm going to write that down. Too dark, too early, too late. And so this is a tricky part, my friend. So just make sure that we get this. And And it's going to be off, you know, but that's what fixing is all about. And uh, so the thing is, you want to make sure that you are getting the most important contour. And for me, the most important contour that I want is the right side of the face. So I'm going to gauge everything with that. That's what I really want. The other parts, I could always fix. And so actually, what I'm going to do, since this is kind of tricky, is I'm going to do this side, right? And then I'll go ahead and spray the other side. I think that's the right way to approach this.
And we'll just keep uh, working on that. So Mike says, are the pictures you use available from your site or do you do a screen grab? Uh, personal use versus commercial conflict? No, I don't worry. This is a one-time, good question, Mike, but this is a one-time. I'm not reproducing and making any kind of, I'm not making any kind of prints and selling them. So, you know, definitely I'm not, you know, monetizing this. And if someone wants to buy this one-time piece of artwork, that's fine. And, you know, I look at it this way. It's my hand, my ink, I'll do it, you know? Uh, so I'm not, I'm not worried about it, you know? Uh, yes, he is Canadian, I, I believe. So my hand, my ink, my airbrush, I'm not worried. As long as I'm not making uh, prints on it, I'm good. And I've been doing this for many, many years. Never had a problem. No one ever really mind at all. But good question. You know, if, like if I was making prints, then that would be, you know, that would be an issue. So definitely, Mike. And thanks for that heads up. Okay. This is a job for the Extreme Patriot Arrow, which is modified by me. Lots of modification, modifications to make this a really strong painting. Uh, I mean, a really strong airbrush that can get details that rival anything. Uh, however, what I want to do is um, I want to go ahead and uh, actually not use that one right now. False alarm. Uh, we're going to use the Vega 1000 for the background, so let's go ahead and make that happen. Vega 1000 is really good. It has a 0.5 needle nozzle combination, and that allows you to have better, uh, better atomization and just better overall coverage. So I'm going to start. So I'm looking at the uh, right here. So I'm going to start with the medium mixture medium mixture. See, I have the little yin and yang on there. That's pretty cool. Uh, uh, so Mike says he was asking about the availability of the reference image. Your work, even as a derivative, is original because it's considered transformative. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's good news. So, Mike, thank you for that. You know, that's why you guys are here. You guys all teach me stuff, and, you know, I teach you, and, you know, we kind of one hand washes the other, right? That's how we do it. So, thanks, Mike. So, okay. Whoa. Oh, my God. Look at that. That was weird. So, what happened was I pressed down on this, and for some reason, uh, ink actually sp sprayed out of the nozzle. And I think I created a suction or something. So, let me clean up this mess before I go any further. That was weird, but thank God none of it touched the artwork. So we're gonna put the artwork far away from here and we're gonna look and make sure that, that everything is spraying right with this airbrush. You know, when you're airbrushing, there's always a chance of mishaps and everything. So you always wanna have your, your artwork uh, far away. You know, always wanna have your artwork far away from testing everything out. Now, maybe the needle is not all the way in. That could be it. That was actually it, guys. So my needle was not all the way in, so when I cleaned it, for some reason, I didn't put the needle all the way in. And that actually ejected all of the uh, ink from the airbrush. So I'm gonna put that back in right now. Pretty weird, wild stuff, right? So let's go ahead. So that, that's what happens when, you know, I'm not thorough. That's a rarity, but I'm human, so I definitely can can mess up a little bit when I'm cleaning my airbrush. That's why you never, ever uh, go straight on to your painting. You always want to test it out before you go anywhere near it. Yeah, you know, 
I don't really mind, you know. Like I said, I've been doing it for 20 years, so I have no problem with it. And I don't have any guilt, you know, or anything like that. So I'm cool. But, you know, everyone has their own feelings about it, and that's cool. But for me, I, I basically, you know, this is a great way to teach you guys. And I think that's the main thing is um, teaching you guys and doing a painting of someone everyone recognizes and all that stuff is cool. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to basically, and I'm going to have to fix this, but you know, I just want to have uh, a nice clean background that I can work on later. But right now, I'm really trying to establish some edges. Now, I want to go ahead and do this side, and then I'll do the other side. Uh, reason being is that maybe it's not cut perfectly, so I'm going to reduce the amount of fixing I'm going to have to do. And just reload this. Medium mixture. But yeah, I, I, I don't care. Um, like I said, if I was doing prints, that would be fine. But little old me, you know, if anything, um, I'm doing a service for people. And so I, I don't feel guilty at all. Plus, this is, to me, I think this is a, sort of an homage to Mr. O'Leary. So I can't imagine him getting upset. So you see, I'm just going to make sure I put some air on there. And I just want to establish the hard edge. That's all I really want to do at this point. And what am I uh, filming with? Uh, oh, I'm filming with, uh, right now, the main camera that you see. The main camera. Hey, Chris, how's it going? Good to see you. So Nick, the main camera is a DSLR. The Canon SL2. Uh, over here I have the 930, which is a webcam. I have the 920 uh, webcam. They're both Logitech. So camera A, camera B, and then the top camera. So three cameras going, and I'm using the program called XSplit. And all that integrated with a pretty powerful computer. The internet is hardwired into my, uh, hardwired from my router straight in to my computer which is on the other end of the house 72 feet of cat 9 cable and and so you know and like I said if anyone ever sued me they would get like $540 and some mixed tapes uh, music tapes from 1980 so right now I, I'm happy with the edge that I have so I'm just going to put that back and I'm not going to go too crazy. I'll go back. I just wanted to get that nice edge. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back here. And... And just put that right there. There we go, and now we could, ah, oh, thanks, Nick. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. And yes, gobble, gobble, that's true. Yeah, so anyway, let's, um, let's go ahead and uh, work on, work this on this side here. So you see, I actually went ahead and made sure I had the contour much better on this side so that's basically how I'm handling this and let's make sure that we are lined up the best we can right you know that's the thing the best we can and we can always fix it and freehand shield and everything 
Monty says he show a photo on the internet and contact a photographer who were very happy asking permission. Yeah, that's a great technique, definitely. I don't do that when I work with uh, celebrity portraits too much because, like I said, it's considered fan art and they never really attack fan art, right? You know, that's like all the portraits of Ariana Grande and everything. Those actresses and actors, they actually put them on their Instagram site. So I don't really feel like there's an issue at all. But anyway, let's, uh, let's, and uh, are you going to airbrush shark skin on them? That's funny. Yeah, that would be cool. So yeah, so right now we're just going to continue uh, just establishing the dark, you know. Tone is in the house. How are you, my friend? Good to see you. As you can see, I'm just just establishing the dark, and then what we're going to do is we're going to come in with uh, a real fun technique, which is the the white mixture. Dun 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 dun. dun. The white mixture is always fun. It sort of brings everything forward, which is really cool. And ah, good to see you, Tone. Happy Thanksgiving, my friend. Tone is in the house, and it's always great to see him. And Mr. Chris is here. Always good to see you, Mr. Chris. All right, so let's make this happen. There was this cute girl, she used to do uh, vegan uh, vegan videos. I used to follow, I still follow her, she doesn't do vegan videos anymore. Her name was Vorvana. And whenever she would say, like, let's do this recipe and everything, she'd go, let's do this. I thought that was really cute. It just doesn't sound as cute when I say it as she said it. Uh, si es la vida uh, in Espanol. Uh, so, let's see. Hey, what's up, Bill? Good to see you. How's it going? Okay, guys, watch Bill's video, but after the live stream, okay? <laughs> Make sure you don't cut out of here, because I need you to be here and, and watching with me, you know? Hey, Ian Ez, how's it going? Good to see you. How are you? Happy Thanksgiving. And let's go ahead and... I'm going to put a little bit more. I'm not going too crazy because I'm always going to go darker. You know, I'm not trying to, you know, get that incredible, you know, dark just yet. But I'm just establishing. It's sort of the construction uh, stage, right, guys? This is construction. Sort of doing the heavy lifting at this stage. And... So what we're going to do is always you want to make sure before you do any lifting up, you're going to go ahead and we're going to, so I, I'm not going to the gym anymore, even though they're still open in New Jersey, I just don't think it's the right time right now. I'm not worried about me getting sick, I'm worried about me contracting and getting others sick like my mom and stuff. So no gym for me, so I'm actually going to lift water bottles. Uh, you know, I take the, uh, the, the bottles, the, you know, the gallons of milk, and I'll lift them. I'll use them as my dumbbells. All right. Bum, ba, da, bum, 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 bum. Okay, look at that. Bam! That was annoying, right, Tim, with my bam noise? But what are you going to do? Uh, let's see. Willie says, it's so nice not to have to get up for work tomorrow morning. I'm so glad you're off. And Nick says, Tim... You're using a science scientific brand of inks. It is actually my own inks. And great question, Nick. Um, so I do have uh, a website where you can purchase the inks. And that's one of the things with this site. I go ahead and I, I am demonstrating how to use these inks. They're so much better than anything you used before. And honestly, I say that because I use them every day. And it just gives you more, more and more control 
and it's a pragmatic approach. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right here. There's a link in the description, but I'm going to go ahead and put it right there in the comments. And bam, there. Oh, hey, Brad. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. Raul, how you doing? Alexandra, how are you? Oh, Paul B, how's it going? Oh, so great. So, Paul, how, how you been? It's always good to see you. So, I'm so glad you're here, Paul. And so, really cool. We got Raul. And so, that's really neat. So, now here we are. So, like I said, I'm not going to the gym anymore. So, if I start looking flabby, it's not my fault, okay? You know, and... Uh, and w, uh, Will says, as for weights, he's using bands. I, a lot of people do that. Yes, bands are great. And so that's true. Um, so yeah, I'm going to look into that, definitely. So here we are. And we have Mr. Wonderful here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut out Mr. Wonderful. And we're going to go ahead and establish the lights, right? We're going to use that with the light mixture, which is basically Drew Blair's 50-50 illustration white, one-to-one uh, -one with the 4011 reducer, all by Createx. And thank you, Drew Blair, for going ahead and developing that. So I appreciate you, Mr. Blair, and big fan of yours. Okay, let's go ahead. So paper number two, so we're gonna save this because we're gonna need that later. But like I said, you know, a lot of it is construction. A lot of it is uh, doing things that isn't exactly airbrush to set up the airbrush, right? So that's what we got to do. We're going to take our artwork and put it far away when we're not painting it, right? That's so important. Artwork far away. So, so important. So Brad, thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Right there, guys, is the link to my inks. Wow, the link to my inks. That's pretty good. Um, a lot of literary things going on right now. We're gonna take our X-Acto knife and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut out Mr. O'Leary here. We're just gonna, and so we wanna be real like on the money, you know? Oh, look at that, Roy has a bow flex. Very cool, Roy. That is good, I wish I could get a hands on that. That's a real nice piece of equipment. And when you're doing these, you can move it around. You don't have to have it straight up and down, you know, that's so good. So what we're doing now is we're protecting the background. Now, like I said, there's gonna be a little bit of border, you know, missing here and there. So what, we can always fix it. But at least we're not getting ugly overspray. And we all know that look, you know, that overspray, that airbrush overspray look, which really doesn't really do much for anybody and so so we have uh, a nice uh, chin there we're gonna go ahead and uh, work on that uh, later so we're not gonna worry about that but I want the idea of his neck and basically coming up here and then coming this way did I lose my point? I think I did. Look at that. Okay, we're going to come over. Remember that whole thing of looking a little bit forward, you know? So, Paul Budvilla, always good to see you, Paul. Um, I'm really loving the mural that you're doing. Just top-notch. Really fantastic. So, if you haven't checked out Paul Budvilla's work, but I'm sure everyone knows of him because he's just fantastic. He was so nice to talk to me when I began airbrushing, and I definitely don't forget that, Paul. You know, you were an inspiration, you answered my questions, and, you know, set the tone for me to be the same way, you know, as right now. So, bravo to you, sir. And are you cutting Mr. Wonderful's head off? Uh, well, in a way, yes, but not in a bad way. <laughs> we are definitely going to isolate his face. And uh, Chris, we're going to, uh, we want to go ahead and 
put in the white. Now we're not putting in a highlight, but we're putting in the lighter values that are lighter than the paper. And what that does, it sets up a three-dimensional form and kind of really helps us to uh, move quickly. Move quickly when we're doing the light mixture to get the tonal range. Not only that, the textures, we can work on the textures rather fast. So really cool technique. So, ah, oh, <laughs> no, great, really cool. Uh, really cool, Paul. Love your, love your work. big fan and let's see the one thing that you uh, Paul did this amazing uh, painting on a bike and remember he did the uh, World War two like the Spitfires and Messerschmitts and Winston Churchill oh my god it was just totally out of this world and when he sold it he had to paint over it it was almost like sacrilegious you know because that artwork should have lived on okay so there we go so now we have uh, this so we can take mr. wonderful again put him over here and now let's go ahead and put in our footballs And like I said, this might be a tedious process, but it's really going to work, you know? Oh, thank you, Paul. I appreciate that. And let's see. We're just going to pull this over here. So you see the footballs are really good because they basically have larger area and it's easier to tape because they're not little holes. I'm kind of new to this technique. As you know, my technique is always evolving. And so it was a reaction to frisket film damaging one of my paintings. And I was like, nope, not gonna go down there again. So I had to find a different way. And that's it, you know, if you're doing a job or something like that and you're commissioned and you're, you're under a time crunch, wow, that would really be rough, you know? Being under a time crunch and then, you know, frisket film destroys your work, that's just not acceptable. So, so that's why, you know, the technique is changing. But it's great because I get to share it with you guys, you know? And so not bad. We got 25 concurrent viewers on the day before Thanksgiving. That is unbelievable. Honored that you guys decided to hang out with me, you know, rather than watch the turkey cook, you know, for the Americans here. Uh, any other countries uh, celebrate Thanksgiving today or is it just us? I know Canada. Uh, Brad said Canada had his about two weeks ago. Uh, the UK had theirs, I think, like a week ago. So, uh, who else is having that? So, have I tried the FBS Gold yet? No, not not yet, but uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Uh, I hear great things from Mr. Leahy about it, which is nice, right? And take your time cutting, guys. You know, the, the good thing about painting is that, you know, it's a leisurely thing. So take your time, don't worry, you know. Remember that song, Don't Worry, Be Happy? I think that was like around 89 or something like that, or 90. Bobby McFerrin, I think it was. Oh, yeah, sign masking. Yeah, a lot of people do that. Jonathan Pantaleone does that, you know. That's another great artist. And nice guy. Jonathan's a nice guy. One of the good guys of airbrushing. Okay, now, 
So yeah, it's not going to be perfect. You know, there's going to be some fixing, but that's okay. Taking my blade, I'm not going to use it. Remember, Felix Unger, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put my shavings in the trash receptacle. I'm making myself, I'm making the Oscar Madison myself kind of nauseous, but you know, that's the new improved Tim. So let's see. Uh, Menards, wow. Oh, wow. So you used it and you really loved it. Fantastic. Oh, my God. That is sad, right? Sad and ironic, right? Uh, so, yeah, I hope he's doing okay, you know. A lot of artists, you know, artists, writers, you know, who, you know, are usually upbeat, are usually dealing with depression. Example given Robin Williams, right? So sad. FBS Gold. That is cool. So thanks for that tip. I'm definitely going to use that tip. FBS Gold in the third race. No, that's that's horse racing tip. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take a sip of my tea. Green tea with lime. Ah, that was good. I like it when it's not hot, but warm. That's really fantastic, you know? So, really love that. And so, we continue to make this happen here. And like I said, what we have to do is make sure that none of these uh, holes are are not covered because if they're not covered, you're gonna spray and have a really nice hole or a really nice football on Mr. on Mr. Wonderful's face and we can't have that. I don't want him being like, Tim, you're dead to me. Or he'll call me a cockroach, <laughs> as he does on Shark Tank. So those who watch Shark Tank definitely know, you know? Look at that, 3M purple, like a lot of different tape. This is dollar store tape, uh, but I always look to see, you know, what's very low tack and, you know, serves my purposes. I'm always, I'm the artist on the uh, incredible shoestring budget. I don't know how I make my bills every week, but, you know, I really feel that, you know, God's providing and I'm still able to do these live streams with you guys. and. You know, that means so much to me because I look forward to them and I look forward to you all so much. You know, so very much. Okay, now. Uh, frog tape. Oh my God, that's pretty cool. Anything with frog in the title is always cool. Uh, let's see. We're going to go here. This is cool because you see how it sort of bends. So we can actually get this more exact. Which really doesn't have to be more exact. That's the irony of it. Ah, the irony. And you see how this just so nicely, just sort of, so beautiful. And, see that's what I should do. I think I should have it where it opens up at one side so I can actually fit it even better. What do you think? That kind of seems like a good technique. Pow, like that. Okay. And there we go. So, uh, so cool, cool. So a lot of tape, tape conversations, not taped. That would be bad. Well, it is taped. Sorry, guys. I'm taping you guys. Uh, <laughs> but it's a uh, tape conversation, not taped. Okay, so now, remember, we had our... Vega 1000. I'm going to do a video on the Vega 1000 and how amazing it is. I mean, for like $67 or something like that, you're going to you're going to love that for backgrounds, for doing the light mixture, for doing large areas of tone. You're really going to love it. So, let's come over here. That is going to make me big. 
So you got to deal with my head big again, guys. Sorry, you know. Uh, so, you know, my apologies. And so what I'm going to do as you, let me move this down here. Papow. So you guys can see me. Well, actually, you're not seeing as much as me, so that's a good thing. So I put the cap in there. You always got to make sure you clean that cap because if any kind of ink or anything other color in that cap, it's not good. Not good at all. It's going to contaminate whatever new color you're putting it in. And, oh, <laughs> we don't take conversations. <laughs> I hear that, my friend. And uh, so let's see. So now you see the this is the Vega 1000. So first thing I do is I put some water in there a couple of times, right? Bam! And then I'll spray it out at the cat. You know, no, the cat's in the other room. There are no animals hurt during this live stream. Okay. <laughs> and let's see. All right, so. Now that we did that, we're going to take off the backing. The Vega 1000 has a 0.5 needle nozzle combination. It doesn't have any needle packing in here or anything like that, any gaskets or O-rings. It is a straight canal that goes straight through it. It's the A10 Warthog of airbrushes. It's gonna last forever. It's by Thayer and Chandler. So. If you want to know more about it just go ahead and email me and I'll tell you more about it you know so that's really cool they are listening <laughs> and uh, let's see Mike says my eyes my eyes <laughs> that's true Mike that's true so we'll go ahead and put that there now I like to get these needles so if you guys saw my video on uh, cleaning the airbrush or is India ink safe for the airbrush CVS makes the best q-tips because they do not shed do not get the expensive q-tips those are the ones that are gonna kill you gonna kill your airbrush look how much uh, dark came out there and I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'm gonna make sure this is really clean because I don't want to put on a gray I want to put the white mixture so I'm gonna make sure this is super clean. And we're just gonna do several in here and make sure that there is no black that's gonna make my white mixture gray. So also I'm gonna take off this uh, regulator cap here. And there's always some black like right in there. So I'm gonna take a fresh Q-tip. You're gonna go through a lot of Q-tips, trust me. I go through like a thousand every couple of months. So we're just gonna go ahead and twirl that and see if you can get some ink out of there. It's nice and clean, so that's a good sign. So so now we'll go ahead and put our Hey Mr. Leahy, how you doing? Happy Thanksgiving Eve. Oh, I need two of them. Is that uh, two of the uh, of the Vegas you're probably right you know I probably could use a second Vega so that's true good point anything for a new airbrush right that's it we have it's good that we we love airbrushes and we can admit we have an airbrush problem <laughs> we can't get enough of them am I right guys that's so true and uh, Chris says the Vega is listed on USA Airbrush and Tim has a discount code. Yes, 15% off and that is Timothy PSA. So let me go ahead and write that down for you guys. So that's www.usaairbrushsupply.com. There you go. And you're gonna go there and you're gonna type in at checkout, Timothy PSA, and you're gonna get 15% off. It's gonna come out to like $60, so that's really good. And for this airbrush, like I said, just the fact that it's a canal going right through is just amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So definitely something to 
really. So you see how I'm getting all that black inside that, that cap? That black's gonna mix with the white. And you know, Mr. Wonderful's gonna have a lot of gray in his face and we don't want that. We want him to look great. So when he sees my video and says, Tim, I need you to do a larger portrait for me or a mural and I'll be like, you know, I'll be like, yes. So, hey, Mr. Leahy, thank you so much for that, my friend. I really appreciate that more than you guys know. Wow, thank you so much. Look at that. That is great. So today we have Brad and Mr. Leahy just coming through. So fantastic. I definitely appreciate that. And... The Renegade airbrush. Renegades are really good. They're fine. Uh, so I like the Renegade. The chrome is really nice and uh, just beautiful looking, right? You guys see the chrome? That thing just looks so beautiful. And that's one of the things I liked about that. Just I fill it up about halfway because when I'm doing a light mixture, I'm not really going to uh, stay, you know, I'm not going to use that much. So you don't have to fill it all the way up. So I'm going to put my water aside, my tape. Let's see if I go like this and it stands up. If it does, free drinks for everyone. Oh well, no drinks. Okay, so let's bring back the painting of Vista Wonderful. And all right, now we're cooking with gas. And believe it or not, we're doing pretty good today on time. It just, okay, so let's. Let's get rid, do you guys like this area of you? No, right? Let's get Tim out of here, you know? Tim, the smaller you are, the better. I know, I know, it's, I know. And so let's go ahead and protect, protect the table. Always wanna protect the table, okay? So, and uh, let's see. So we have the white mixture. Remember guys, always test on a spare piece of paper first, please. Uh, remember last time, just earlier? So, am I getting white? Yes, he is. And is he getting um, a nice coverage, nice atomization? Yes, he is. So, two things that are good. So, remember, pure ref, guys, pure ref. Download it. You're gonna say, Tim, how did I ever live without pure ref? I just don't understand. And I'll be like, yep. You're right. I don't know how you ever lived without it. And so, so right here, you see how it goes up here? Don't worry because I'm cropping him right here. So, uh, so if you see something weird like that, take heart. Uh, we have it covered. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna, and I'm gonna be, and I always measure this for my students and those who study with me know how I am is that measurement distance is so important when describing it because a lot of teachers on YouTube, they don't explain the distance and that makes all the difference. The distance makes all the distance, all the difference. Okay, so let's take out our freehand shield in Caso Day, just in case. And all right, so remember when you do the white, it's not going to show up right away because what you're doing, you're wetting the paper and it's darkening. And as you darken it, uh, and then when it dries, the, the white shows up. So that's why you have to be real chill with this, right? We have to be very chill. It looks like Bart Simpson. Well, we're going to fix that, Chris, definitely, because Mr. Wonderful will say, Tim, you're dead to me and I don't want that to happen. So I definitely got to make Mr. Wonderful look good here. So good distance and I'm protecting some of the dark there with the freehand shield. Not really worrying about edges, but protection, right? And so, you know, one of the reasons why I did pick this pose or this photo is because there's a lot going on. There's a lot for you guys to learn. And the change of pace, you know, I always paint the beautiful women. And, you know, we all know Tim likes beautiful women. And I know they don't like me, don't go there. Uh, but, uh, 
<laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know, once in a while, I got to show you guys different things to paint, right? So that's, that's the thing. You know, I'm very funny today, even though I'm the only one that's thinking it, that I am funny. So, you know, that, that's important that at least I believe I'm funny. So I wanted to show you the new acquisition. These, these, uh, it's called the Single X Eberhard Faber. And I'm selling these on my website for $5.95. You can't buy these anymore, they're vintage, but they work perfect for this technique, especially when it comes to hair. So, I think I can take my glasses off for this, because I, there we go and so now we're really uh we're cooking at a, a really nice uh clip here so what i'm doing is i'm looking for the lights not the highlights for the lights right that's what we're looking for and so about three inches a little bit more so that's really good about three inches and so, Mr. Leahy, what is the next airbrush? Steve Leahy on his last live stream did this most incredible airbrush that blew my mind, right? And he did it in one sitting. And they're like, and everyone's like, well, Tim, how come you're not doing your portrait in one sitting? Because I can't. <laughs> Steve Leahy is a legend. So, he can do it. Tim can't. So, uh, but definitely, he's using my inks and the way he uses them really is an honor and it's just great to see him master them in a different approach than mine you know and so that's really really great to see so check out his live streams every Monday at 6 that's Eastern Time and that's on Facebook and that's just Steve Leahy that's just L-E-A-H-Y correct yes let me see yep L-E-A-H-Y and Steve's a Boston guy. Actually, no. That, Steve, did you know that Mr. Wonderful is from Boston? Like you? From the Boston area? So this is like, this is like old home week for Mr. Leahy, right? You know? So yeah, he's living in Canada, I believe now. But he is from Boston. So who is... Like, who watches Shark Tank and who's your favorite shark? I'd love to hear. And Tim's, uh, oh, Brad says, sorry I missed it live on Monday. Oh, cool, yeah, it's really fantastic. Yeah, the master of the tiny, definitely. So I'm gonna protect the eye here. You know, why why sully it up with the white when it doesn't it doesn't need it, right guys? So that's important. And so one of my people in the UK, Mr. Gold, a shout out to you, Gary Gold. I just wanted to let you know that I listened to you and I brought back the chat window for Mr. Gold. Uh, he said that he missed the chat window because he loves seeing your conversations. And he misses that he can't have the con can't join the conversation because of the time difference. But he always watches our show. And uh, just a shout out to Mr. Gold. So, what do you guys think of bringing back the chat window? You guys like it as well? And you see, I'm moving around a lot, and I'm also protecting those darks, right? So, so you see, he's starting to come together. If anyone uh, wants to see Steve's airbrush work, just hit hit him up. He's happy to show them off. Oh, great! Yes. Uh, now, several of you guys, I I got gifts uh, for a friend of mine. I went ahead and bought two of his wonderful prints, and I gave them as gifts, and it was a big hit. So Steve's work is always a big hit. And let's see. Now, a little more tea. Actually, I'm almost out, which is kind of a bummer. All right, so let's see how we can 
make this happen, my friends. Now over here, I'm just gonna bring out the lights. Now remember, we're not doing highlights. Do not do highlights when you're doing this technique. This is just doing the light. Hey, Hillbilly Abel, how are you, my friend? Great to see you. So glad you're here. I love the work you're doing. And so Mike says, please show the side view a little larger. It shows the right really well. You, my pleasure, your friend, my friend. So we're going to just move some stuff around here and let's let's take care of Mike here and make sure we make this larger for you. Uh, there we go. How's that mic better? And maybe just move this over here like that. Move the chat up a little bit. There we go, sir. Okay. There we go. Okay, great. And so let's see. Monty says the time difference is a bit harsh to watch live. I'm watching the recording. Okay, cool. It's always great. Uh, to have you live so we can talk to you, Monty, but we definitely understand, you know, if you need sleep of all things, right? Definitely. So I'm going to do, uh, Steve did a couple of UK friendly and international friendly uh, live streams, and I'm going to do that too. I definitely want to take care of you guys as well, you know? And so you see, we're just going ahead and so there's a nice light there there's a nice light coming over here I'm just gonna bring that down like I said don't get involved in the highlights that's gonna be your undoing so we're just gonna get involved stay about three inches away and let the paint catch up don't you might look at it and say oh it's not enough but when you lift this up you're gonna be like oh my goodness it's so white right so uh, you don't want to do that. All right. So, so now you can see we're starting to look a little bit like Mr. Wonderful here. A little bit. And then after this, your favorite and mine, the light mixture makes an appearance. So, a little bit lighter here. Ah, definitely lighter here, right? You know? Oh, okay, cool. And you know, I can always uh, make it larger as well. So any any requests like that, it's all good. I'm definitely here to help out my peeps here. Okay, freehand shield to protect the indentation of the chin going into where the teeth are, like the cylinder of the mouth. So definitely let that catch up, right? You have to let that catch up. Have to. You must. And cool. We're doing very well, guys. So right now it's 1038 and uh, and uh, Willie knows that in the old days that meant that the chat window would freeze and you guys, I would not know what you were saying. Ah, the good old days, right? You know? Hey, Steve Johnson, how's it going? Mr. Wonderful number two. So, <laughs> so you see we have Mr. Wonderful here from Shark Tank. We have Mr. Wonderful, who is Mr. Steve Johnson. Oh, hey, Steve, thanks so much and happy Thanksgiving. Thankful that you're doing some great work and inspiring me. So I really appreciate you, sir. And Mr. Johnson says... He remembers those days, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, you guys who were with me a long time know about those days. The early days of X-Split, you know, and how that kicked us in the butt a lot of times, you know. So basically, as you see, I'm just establishing sort of like a, like a sculptural relief, right? Bringing what's, be, what's in front up a little bit you know yes happy Thanksgiving to Marge as well so please wish her that for me and there we go so look at this so you see how just by doing a little bit we're actually establishing some of the 
some of the larger forms of Mr. Wonderful, and it's really coming a long way to establish uh, the structure of, of his head, you know, which is his face and everything like that. But look at the wonderful atomization you get with this little airbrush. And like I said, the A10 Warthog of airbrushes, because it just has a canal going straight through. There's nothing in between. There's nothing to break. It's just Thayer and Chandler, which is now a Badger company, manufactures these and sells them. And uh, any Thayer and Chandler you're going to be really happy with. But, you know, I have my specialties for this technique, and this is definitely, you know. Ah, oh, thank you. And Steve says, always great tutorials, Tim, and still are. I really appreciate that, my friend. Really do. And, and thank you for... Now, uh, Mr. Johnson actually purchased one of my live stream paintings, uh, you know. And that was Lady Gaga. And that was, I really appreciate that purchase, sir. So it's an honor to have my work in your collection. So you see, like, look, I, I can actually start to see a little bit of Mr. Wonderful, right? You know, we can see. And that, that's what you want, you know. We're not looking for, we're definitely not looking, guys, for Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that she loved it. And that makes me very happy. That's one of the great things about being an artist is that, you know, in our little way, we can make people happy. So that's cool. Thank you, sir. And thank you, wife, for me. And so we're just going up like that. So you see, uh, we're looking for the large shapes, right? We want to paint the forest first, and then we'll go ahead and paint trees and leaves and all that stuff. Forest first. Now, this is a great image for a tutorial like this because, uh, you know, when you paint beautiful women, it's usually very soft edges, and, and that's a great. And yes, the three second rule. <laughs> yes, the three second rule. That's true. And so Roy is, is a great artist, uh, he's doing some great stuff and he's working with me, I have the pleasure of working with him, which is fantastic. Chris says, do Catherine Bell, and he might have to buy that. That is definitely going to be something that is uh, on my to-do list then, you know, because artists just love to sell their work. <laughs> They, they say, uh, oh yes, Brad has my vintage portrait, and that's one of my favorites ever. That one, that was one of those paintings, Brad, that just painted herself. It just came together like, like magic. Sometimes that happens, right? When you're painting, uh, all of a sudden you're like, wow, this is like undeserved. This is really going too easy. And you just gotta go with it, right? And don't don't get nervous when it happens. Just go with it, cause you know paintings. Every painting is um, every painting is like a person, right? They're they could be temperamental. They can be easygoing. They could be funny. They could be a drag, you know. So uh, definitely is something that you always want to enjoy the really easy ones really enjoy it because that's not the way it's always going to be i don't care what level you're at there are going to be some that are going to be like a root canal and so no matter what you do so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to build up a little white in certain areas now no highlights but where now remember about light facing objects so Objects that are facing the light a little bit more, I mean more directly, are going to have more light. So what you're going to do is you're going to look for those areas that are more light facing, and you're just going to have more intense white there. Not that much more, just a little bit more, because you don't want to get involved in highlights. That is not a good thing. So we're looking at what is facing the light most, and you're going to get just a little bit more uh, more concentration of light 
And again, we're not going to get involved in highlights at all. But as you can see, just doing that a little bit just does a lot. Okay, so. And let's see. And Monty says, Brad, when he commented on the post of yours, you introduced him to the channel. Oh, fantastic. Thanks for spreading the word there, Brad. I appreciate it. And that and Monty, thank you for, you know, coming here. You know, I'm so glad you're part of the community now, you know, so that's a, a good thing twice. And so we're almost done with the uh, with the white mixture and which is exciting. I think it's exciting. We're gonna we're gonna work on this nose here, the wing of the nostril. So what is that called, guys? You guys are always good. Uh, you know, what is that outside the nostril? Protuberance of the nostril or something? I don't know. Tim's searching at this point. Um, okay, so I think we're going to quit while we're ahead. And we're, we're actually going to leave this on here because I want to start creating the hard edge but look how beautiful that is right now so pretty good and we're just gonna put this back and we're gonna start uh, painting the darks and everything so we want to have this uh, still in place so we're, we're definitely going to be very thorough in getting this lining up here. Just gonna make our lives easy. Less correcting is always great. That means more fun painting. Uh, so Steve says he has a way of seeing uh, my work up close and personal. Oh, thank you, that means a lot. Yeah, I'm always worried that my work looks better in, in video than in real life. Uh, so Patty says he has an inspiration wall, and you are most definitely on the list to buy. Oh, wow. Thank you, Patty. That would be an honor beyond, beyond comprehension, so thank you. And Wendy says she likes this method of working with the painting, keeps everything clean. Yes, cleanliness is godliness. So, so definitely, uh, we definitely want clean. So we're going to take Mr. Uh, Vega 1000. And then we're going to get our other hose right here. This is the other hose. And we're going to, that's what I said at the beginning of the video. We're going to use this. So I lied. We're going to use it now. And oh, don't you worry about it. You just take care of yourself and get better. That's all I care about there, Wendy. Okay? I just want you to be okay. So we're going to take the light mixture and. So let's uh, blow this up here. Okay. All right. So we're taking the light mixture. Those are all, that's not really mess. That's all the uh, cutouts, which I'm going to put in a folder. So although that looks messy, that's not a mess, guys. So let's go ahead and put some light mixture in our airbrush. Always away from the artwork, right, guys? Away from the artwork. I'm going to fill it up for about a quarter away because uh, the light mixture goes a long way, especially in the beginning. But also, you know, we only have a little more than a half hour left to go here. So, and after this is over, I am going to get something to eat. Maybe some oatmeal or something. It's always great to have breakfast at night, isn't it? So here we are. And remember, we're going to test this before we go ahead and and put this on our artwork right because we don't want to have that and let's see so far it looks like everything is good i put the needle back correctly no disasters that's always a good thing okay so Remember, I'm trying to be as thorough as I can with the teaching, which is so important. So what I'm going to do is I am going to 
uh, talk about the, the distance of when I'm coming in with detail. I'm probably about two inches, two inches or less from the subject. Marie Callender's, that's pretty cool. I hear so many good things about Marie Callender's. Hey, Raul, Raul said something. What did Raul say? Uh, feel better, Wendy. Take care of yourself. Wendy, you're leaving? Um, so, uh, oh, Wendy's more concerned about getting her sense of smell and taste back. That's right. Well, they always said I had bad taste, so, uh, but yeah, no, that's, that's, yeah, you're going to be fine. It's just going to be a little while. Uh, you just take care of yourself and get better. Okay, glasses are coming back on for detail like this. And let's see if I can blow that up for you. And you guys like it when I blow up the, uh, blow up, blow it up. Let's see. Here we go. Yeah, the, the best pot pie. So Wendy knows I love pot pies. Pot pies make me happy. Okay, so here we go. All right, so now you guys can't see it, but I have my pure ref blown up and actually the same size as what I'm painting. So that's pretty cool. So you always, always want to do the one second rule. Uh, <laughs> Wendy wants the close up. So here we go, guys. So the light mixture. Light is always right. If you go too dark too early, it's too late. So light is always right. Too dark, too early, too late. So always remember that. And I'm going to write that down right now. Forgive me while I write that down because I don't want to forget. So too dark, too early, too late. See how I wrote that down? I can't see it because I'm big. Okay, so too dark, too early, too late. That's a pretty cool Timism. And they're, they're getting there, right? The Timisms are really starting to come. Okay, so we're just going to darken the eyeball here. And let's go ahead and darken the surrounding area. And also the crease of the upper eyelid. And then this gets dark here. And really pay attention to what we're seeing, okay? One second rule is in effect. And a bit pricey, so she makes her own pot pies. I hear that, you know? And so we're just going to continue here. And I want to go ahead and start to sculpt this eye a little bit. You know, just a little bit. But once we do this, we don't go too far. Oh, you have Steve-isms. I love to hear them, my friend. Those are cool. I can't wait. You do some incredible paintings over there, Steve. Big fan of yours. Mike says he makes his own as well. Refrigerate, uh, fresher ingredients, better salt content. Nice. That's going to be great. So one of these days, you know, we should have, you know, when COVID-19 is done, we're all good. And the world according to Tim, that's rather tragic, isn't it? <laughs> uh, so, and let's see. World according to Tim used to be quite bitter, and but now uh, I am starting to lighten up a little bit, which is good, right guys? It's always good to lighten up a little bit. So I'm not going to go too crazy. As you can see, I'm just, uh, I'm just going to sort of make that eye three-dimensional. One of the things with the light mixture is that you want to develop the forms. You want to make sure that the forms are, how do you say, you know, you want to make things turn towards the light, away from the light. Also, uh, lighten up with light mixture. <laughs> I like that. That is good, Brad. Definitely. I love it. That's right. How could you be in a bad mood with light mixture? Now, dark mixture is a different story, okay? So, 
Let's see. So let's go ahead. We work on one eye. You guys know what we have to do. Well, whatever we do on one eye, we have to do with the other eye. So let's make this happen. Let's do this, as that cute girl used to say. Ravana. So let's do this. So that's what we're doing right now. So look at the detail you can get with this airbrush. Isn't it amazing? Now this is, so that's like less than an inch. That eye is wide. So that's the detail that you can get with this airbrush. Just want you guys to know that. If anyone wants a custom airbrush, that this custom airbrush, please let me know. And I will definitely take care of you personally. And, uh, you know, I'll test it and everything. So that's really fantastic. It's a great service. And Brad says the reference drawing looks great. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. And... Yeah, the reference drawing is so important. It's sort of the steel girders, you know, that hold up the uh, rest of the building. So that's what, what we're really trying to accomplish. So I appreciate that, Brad. Thank you for that. So as you can see, as we zoom out a little bit and you see how we have developed the eyes, which is pretty cool. And then we can, uh, let's go ahead and just quickly establish the eyebrows, okay? So I'm going to increase the airbrush. It, now, these airbrushes have a little pack valve, so I can increase the air pressure when needed and decrease it when needed. Uh, when you're doing more detail, uh, more or larger area form, then definitely the... Uh, Releasing the air valve a little bit, make giving more pressure is much better. So yeah, so you have that ability to actually have two or three airbrushes in once, in one by having the pack valve. You can go from a detailed to a less detailed airbrush. So let's see. Um, Mike says with the airbrush setup, uh, like Tim has, uh, it's getting half millimeter lines or less while learning control. Definitely, and I'm so glad because. I had problems with control in the past and this airbrush really helps me, especially with the ink. So I appreciate that. Uh, shout out, Mike. Definitely. Uh, it really does make quite a difference. And so as you can see, I'm just going to move down. I did the eyebrows. I'm going to move down to the larger darks here. So I'm pretty much moving down the center of, of Mr. Wonderful here and ah uh, yeah it's it really is thanks brad you know the uh the ability to get these beautiful details are just really a pleasure you know it just makes life a lot more easier for us our airbrush artists so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead now i have this paper to give me this beautiful dark line so so you see how I don't have to worry about, you know, that contour because the paper is actually doing it for me. So that's really great. And I can just leave that there and get darker. So that's, you know, it's a great advantage that we are taking definitely, that's sort of like a Austin Powers thing. It's a great advantage to take advantage of, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Chris says he loves the one I uh, oh you're welcome thank you Chris it was an honor to work on that with you Brad says he has four of them one for ink, 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 ink mixture and a spare that's very cool Wendy says she likes how they look like a ghost then come to life oh yes with the white mixture thank you I appreciate that and Mike says, bonus time, his son has taken an interest in airbrush. Wow, that is so amazing. I'm so happy. Yes, we need to set your SOTAR up. We're going to do that together, Chris. Uh, we'll do that after Thanksgiving. You know, um, 
you know, maybe early next week, we'll do that together. It'd be my pleasure to uh, help you out with that. You're going to love that airbrush, though. It's just, it's like, make, it's, I always say, right? You guys know how much I love the Sotar Slim. Wendy has one. She loves it, right? Wendy, you love the Sotar Slim. Uh, Slim. So I'm just making sure I'm getting, just a quick question for everyone. He's, uh, he's seeing a super chat feature here for $20. What the heck is that? Uh, that is just a, it is interesting. It's something new when your challenge gets, your, your channel gets bigger. It enables uh, people to go ahead and donate, you know, anything uh, during the chat. Like uh, Mr. Leahy donated uh, 20 and then uh, Brad did. It's not something that you have to or anything like that. It doesn't, uh, I appreciate it guys when that happens. I really do. You guys just don't know how much I appreciate it. But it's not, it's not like a, a necessity or anything. So don't worry if you don't do that. That's just something that uh, YouTube brought up to, uh, you know, for people who want to go ahead and donate to the channel and stuff like that. So that's cool. So good question, Steve. And so Willie says the Slim is his go-to brush. Yeah, that Slim is like a mechanical pencil. It really is. And Wendy says, love working with only a few drops at a time. Yes, and that is so good. Um, and let's see. So uh, it's a gift to support Tim's channel. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that, Brad, more than you know. And so let's see. So let's continue. So I'm liking the way he's coming out, and he's coming out slow, you know, too dark, too early, too late. Light is right. We're going to continue with that. So usually the light mixture is going to be about 60% of your painting is going to be with the light mixture, just moving about and developing things together. And so the freehand shield is definitely uh, a welcome thing at this point. And so you see we... We want to establish value relationships. We can't go too dark, but we can get the value relationships, right guys? And that's what we're really going to concentrate on, value relationships. And then everything's going to darken up together. And I like that when things darken up together, right? Uh, that's the whole thing with this technique is just uh, paint the ensemble, right? So at the end, it looks like it was all done in one breath, one quick sitting, and that's what you want to do. And you get that unified sort of uh, old master look, and that's what I strive for in my work. Those pencil lines will be obliterated, no worries, guys. Uh, that's, that's okay. Will I use the white mixture in the collar? Great question. Have not decided. I probably will go with the white pastel but we'll decide you know as we go but great question because i did ponder that so what i might do is i always do a second test and i'll see in the test painting because i'd rather see in the test painting than in my regular painting if it works right so always do that if you have a question do a test painting it always works better for you so that's always best so pretty cool. Uh, today we had so far, I think we had uh, all the way up to like 25 uh, concurrent viewers today, which was really good. And who knows, we might go up there again. So, you know, um, oh, new video coming out, which is white pastel. Yes, <laughs> Steve loves the white pastel. So new video coming out i'm just going to give you a quick uh a, a very quick uh preview of the next regular video on my youtube channel so one of the things i talk about is always um white mixer <laughs> and uh oh 28 oh nice so what i like to do is you know, work out the kinks of my work by doing smaller pieces that are uh, a lot less pressure. And so this is in a little sketch pad. So this is something that I like to do, you know, in between jobs and everything. And so as you can see, 
you know, I have my reference here, and then I cut out the Canson color line paper and put it there, and then I just work on this during the down times. It's really great. Uh, it's a way to, like I say, to get the kinks out of your work, do things that, you know, maybe you can be more bold. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, you can be more bold. And uh, so you're not just doing these big paintings, you know, that are like, oh my God, I'm doing this big painting. And uh, so that's, now the chat window is only going to be, uh, that I'm not sure, Wendy. I will get back to you on that though. But, you know, it's good to do these small paintings so you, it gets sort of the kinks out and then you're not worried about, you know, I have this large piece of paper, you want the painting to be good. Here you're being a little more free and you could work out a lot of the bugs in your work. And you can see, I still do the little cutouts and everything, which is really great. So that's gonna be the full tutorial, uh, is going to be the next video on this channel. So that's exciting. So I just wanted to give you a sneak peek because you are my peeps. The peeps get a peek. Okay, so we'll put this over here. And we'll go back to our regularly scheduled programming right now. Oh, I do have water, so that's good. And smoke them if you have them, they say in, the, in war, right? So uh, drink them if you have them. So let's see. Uh, so Wendy's not sure what she did, but it worked. Yes, Wendy. See, Wendy, you know what you're doing. You don't need me. So let's put Mr. Wonderful over here. And let's... Continue with the large shapes and utilize our freehand shield when we can because we can so now you can see there's a The chin is lighter over here and then darker over here So I'm going to use my freehand shield to cover the lighter area and I'm going to spray below it see that and Just like that it's about three inches from the subject right now because I'm doing a large area Remember, the larger the area, the better the gradation, right? So that's really important. So really enjoying this live stream with you guys. I'm thankful on the eve of Thanksgiving. I'm really thankful for all of you. And I just want to share that with you, okay? Uh, I want you guys to know that I'm very thankful for you guys. And I'm thankful every day I get the airbrush and get to have my apartment and you know, get to have this channel. I'm just very thankful for all those things. And, you know, we always have to, you know, there's a lot of things in life we don't have. And a lot of things in my life I don't have and I want. I want desperately. But I have to be thankful for the things that I do have. And so that's, you know, where I am right now. And... A little more air pressure, right? Hey, where did I go? Where, where's my other image? Oh, there I am. Okay. You're like, Tim, I liked it better when you were off the screen. I know, I know. And then we'll just, uh, we'll continue. We'll crawl along the surface because we're not going to have a freehand shield. That's going to be exactly like his chin. Or do we? Let's look and see at these papers over here that we cut out. Or do we? Let's see. Uh, almost, right? Because we have this right here, but that's not. Now what I can do, and here's something that we can do, right? So I want to just show you, uh, because I like showing you guys stuff. So we're going to take uh, the artwork aside. All this stuff is really cool. Uh, if it's going to help you, it's really cool because it helps me, you know, so if anything helps me, I'm going to share it with you guys, you know. Ah, oh, thank you, Chris. I really, really appreciate that. And thank you, Wendy. I, I appreciate that so much. And I appreciate you guys so very much. Now, Steve Leahy. Thank you, Steve Leahy. He came up with this and what he does. And he actually will go ahead and and cut this and sometimes he'll just he says if you just put a line glasses time because Tim needs glasses when it comes to tight detail I remember there was a time I was upset I didn't need glasses you know I was like I want glasses I want to look you know distinguished and now I'm like wow that was so foolish 
right? My God. No, I hate that I need glasses. So, so Steve says, if I just leave a slit like that and I spray it, a line will appear. So, let's go ahead and put Mr. Leahy's technique to the test, which, you know, we don't have to do that because his technique is on the money and my technique's on something. Uh, my technique's on crack, you know. Um, no, my technique is not on crack. Uh, speed. Uh, so Chris says we are thankful. I appreciate that. Steve says that's great advice. He often will do a small segments of paintings before going for the real deal. Yes. Bigger is always, larger is always better, you know. And Wendy says she's lazy. That is definitely not true. Uh, so I, what could go wrong? That's Steve's uh, mantra, right? That's funny. So Steve cracks me up. So what I'm going to do, this actually lines up quite easily, right? We're just going to put that here. And let's keep our fingers crossed. You know what? That's a little too scary because I don't see what's underneath. So I'm not going to do that. And let's see. We're just going to put this, put our artwork aside. Mr. O'Leary goes over there. We're just going to do it the old-fashioned way. We're going to earn it. So... So, you guys remember that commercial for Smith Barney? The old-fashioned way. Earn it. That was like uh, John Houston, I think it was. Or who was that? Who was the guy who did We Earn It? Was it? It wasn't John Houston. Houston. John Houston or something like that. So, Monty says the technique works. He has done it a couple of times. Definitely. Yeah. So, definitely believe that, Monty. Thank you for that. Uh, insight definitely uh, and I just line out the whole thing and spray away that's the good way to do it Wendy register marks yes that's good register marks are always fantastic uh, so that's and you know that's someone who does great masking is mr. Johnson over there so he's a great person to take take advice about so okay so here we are BAM we're gonna we're going to do some spraying, but look how wonderful. Now we have the best possible, the best possible freehand shield ever for this painting at this time. All right, now, Mr. Light Mixture, you're up, and let's make this happen. Remember, just because you're doing a large area does not exempt you from the one second rule, okay? So make sure that you're not exempting yourself from the one second rule. And you want to make sure that uh, we go ahead and make it darker. There we go. Very happy with it. And then we can go ahead and put Mr. Wonderful's head over here. And here we are. So now I think we're doing okay. Center line, guys. Center line. So we always want to go ahead. Uh, Steve Leahy would be disappointed. You chickened out. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's uh, you always got to weigh the risks, you know. And so you, that's the thing. When you're painting, always weigh the risks, you know, of whether or not. Now the risk is I could have done it another way. So it really wasn't worth the risk. For me, because it's something that I was... Now, if I was going to do a test, that's a different story. So let's go ahead and continue the... Yes, I did chicken out, my friend. <laughs> now, we're going to go ahead and continue uh, with his mouth here. And let's blow it up. Let's make this happen. Let's do this. Okay, so we're going to go down over this way. There he is. Now, when you're looking big like this, you're going to be like, Tim, that's a mess. And I'm going to be like, yes, but only because we're, you know, we have it blown up. But the naked eye can't see half of this stuff. So that's good. This way. Okay. So now that I have that, you can't see my pure ref. I'm going to have pure ref over here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and start to paint the dark over here right 
and then just move over. No risk, no gain. <laughs> no pain, no gain. What do we love? Pain, you know? No risk, no gain. <laughs> Very true, my friend. Not all the time, but true. And you see, um, just now we're going to do the upper lip, right? And the upper lip is a little bit darker than this area here. So we're going to make sure we're not going to try and get at that value. We're always looking for relative value. Uh, so, you know, relative to what's around it. So, you know, with the light mixture, if you're trying to get that value, it's not going to be good. And so you want, you want the medium mixture to do its thing, you want the dark mixture to do its thing, and you want to allow the light mixture to do its thing. Light mixture is the main star of this, so always make, make sure that the light mixture is everything. Uh, Steve says, that's not true. Peeps stay with what you know will work. Very true as well, so, so that's true, yes. Um, so yeah, it's all about, you know, like, you know, we have our skydivers of the world who like throw caution to the wind. And then we have those who just like to stay in the shallow end of the pool, like me, you know. Unless there's women in the shallow end of the pool, I mean, the deep end of the pool, then I'll go over there. But uh, otherwise, shallow end is the best for me, I'll tell you that much. Um, let's see. And so, not bad. That's that's French for sweet, Wendy. Oh, so let's see. Who said that? Was wondering what a roux was. Look at that. Roux is uh, uh, French for sweet. Again, see that? I learned so much from you guys. You guys are incredible. So I appreciate that. So right now, look, we're at 19 concurrent viewers and, and we're like close to the end. So things are looking up and I can't believe it. You know, having this kind of uh, uh, turnout the night, after, the night before Thanksgiving is just so encouraging, guys. I know there's so many other things you guys could have done, guys and girls could have done and you decided to just uh, hang with me and... That's so great. And so let's go ahead and zoom back up. Wendy says she cooks Southern, so a roux is a butter and flour. Did not know it meant, sh uh, oh, it means street and not sweet. Okay, look at that. So Chris Garcia is saying uh, uh, happy Thanksgiving. No day off tomorrow. That's a bummer, my friend. You take care of yourself. Say Thanksgiving, have lots of turkey, lots of stuffing, lots of cranberry sauce, and make sure wherever you go and you take some, some leftovers home. Because, you know, the day after Thanksgiving, that's when you can pig out on turkey and really not worry about anyone looking at you. So definitely, guys and girls, make sure you get some leftovers. That goes for you, Chris. Make sure you get the leftovers, my friend. That's so important. So roux, so that's why the, the roux to something or other, right? And that, that makes sense. And look at that, Steve's working late and slammed, but cleaning out the brushes now, wow. So really giving them a thorough cleaning or is that just cleaning from the day? Is that uh, Steve? And well, if they're, they were on the street, you would be doing both. Look at that, that's interesting. Okay, so. Right now, Mr. Wonderful is looking pretty good. And like we said, we're not trying to uh, do any big, big sweeping changes or anything like that. Right now, we're just into uh, relative value, right? So we're going to continue up to center, right? And we'll move this up because that's where we're cropping Mr. Wonderful. So. And as you can see, we're just going to get that dark first. And then we are going to do the corresponding light there. 
and same here and we're just going to fade this up and how you fade is just increase your distance from the surface remember let the airbrush do the hard work you know don't try and do blends just increase the distance as you move down and while you're doing the uh, turning of the forms always let the airbrush do the hard work you don't need to do the hard work and that's the thing you know there's artists who work in airbrush and there's artists who actually know how to really really exploit the airbrush and its properties to work for you and that's really cool so mike says uh he also cooks he's also the cook in the family and he cooks southern and learned to make actual roux from cajun co-worker that's nice and Brad says, you're always talking about Texas being so hot, so cooking on the road wouldn't be... That's true, right? That's for sure. And let's go ahead and work on the nose here. This nostril. And when we go darker, we can go ahead and establish... Uh, it's kind of soft on that nostril there, so I'm not going to use a freehand shield. And let's go ahead. Same here. It's there is a there is a harder edge but it's not super hard so i think the freehand shield might not be the best thing at this point so so right now you see that mr wonderful is starting to turn right uh, the forms are starting to turn in the light and that's really good have you ever seen them fry an egg on the street? No. When I see someone fry an egg on the street, that's when I move. Uh, <laughs> butter flour is also a great base for bacamel sauce. Wow, that's really cool. And we're going to develop that corner of his mouth there, which is going to be good. And let's see, what's our time? 11.22. Uh, Steve says his day is done. Nice, nice. Good to, good to hear, sir. It's nice when you, you know, did a good day's work and you could look back and say, you know what, I did the best I can. And it, it just has to be, you know, you have to say to yourself, I did my best and I'm proud of it. It might not be... 100% uh, every day, but you know what? You do your best and that you have nothing to apologize for. Tim, what are you talking about? I don't know, guys. I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. Okay, so there you see Mr. Wonderful starting to come together a little bit, right? Not too bad. And center line, guys. Remember, center line, center line. And so right here underneath the... Uh, underneath right here there's quite a little bit of a detail here so we're just gonna go and hit that detail let's do this enjoy folks good night Steve thank you so much for hanging out always a pleasure thank you so much and uh, you know and love to tip on the on the masking so I really appreciate that as always so uh, so Willie says he's not going anywhere uh, he just wanted to say happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Tim, thank you for everything. Thank you, Willie. Thank you for hanging with me tonight and through the years. I really appreciate you and I'm thankful for you. Mike says last time he was in uh, New Orleans, Louisiana, he had a guy in purple dress approach the work truck shaking a live chicken at him. Okay, well, you know, when that happens, that's usually when I... I close shop. Hey, Air Todd, all the way from San Diego. Great to see you, Brad. Have a great night. And thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, Wendy was going to go, but her plane trip was canceled. That's a bummer. Not suitable for biscuits, you know. Um, so let's see. Um, John, have a great night. Good to s thank you so much for hanging out. So thankful for you to hang out with me and everyone. So thank you so much. 1124. Do you guys, okay, here's a quick question to those who are still here. What do you like better? You like part one or do you like part five?
which is your favorite part? Now, I've done these live streams over the years, and, you know, so you all know who have been with me, the different feel. Happy Thanksgiving, John. Now, as far as views, part ones always do much better. You know, everyone, thank you. <laughs> Uh, all of them. Thank you, guys. So Brad says part one. Everybody says all of them. I appreciate that. So cool. Yeah, you know, uh, I think part one gets a lot of uh, traction because people want to see how how I start it, and that's cool. Now, part the last part is always the exciting part. That's when the white mixture and the dark accents makes an appearance, which is really cool. So it's a little bit detailed here, and I'm going to actually increase my distance, I mean decrease my distance to around one inch. And that really, yes to both. Very cool, Brad. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Feel better. And prayers going out for your mom and for yourself, Wendy. Uh, you know, please let me know if I can ever do anything. Uh, this is your first time getting to watch the beginning of the piece. Great, Mike. This was a good one because... Uh, you know, there's a lot of, this is a male, a male portrait is a lot more uh, little lights and darks in there. So definitely a good one, you know, definitely. 1126, I can't believe how far we went already, guys. This is pretty cool. So we went pretty far. And I'm going to keep this on here, right? I'm going to keep this on here. Uh, I don't want to do here because this is kind of soft edged on this side. So I don't want to do too much detail here. I want to have a soft edge on this side. But on this side over here, it's quite hard edged. So I'm going to continue to exploit the, the masking over here. And that's going to pay off and give us dividends in the long run. And so we're just going to continue and... So little by little, Mr. Wonderful is is uh, evolving here, which is nice. And what else are you guys saying? Uh, part of the interesting to see what you're going to do. Thank you so much. Yeah, part one is, right? We're not sure. Because I'm always drawing new techniques at you guys too, right? You guys and girls. Because I never want to look back on a painting I did two years ago. And say to myself, that's how I do it now. Oh, Mike's taking notes. That's so great. Uh, so That's so fantastic. That's so smart. I did a video on taking notes and the importance thereof. So, so basically, yeah, uh, part one is really great. Because sometimes I'm not sure how I'm going to approach it. I didn't think of what to paint until about 5 o'clock today. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, so we are at 1127 and we're just going to continue this dark up. Remember we're sculpting now, we're sculptors, right? So you want to feel like sculptors. And so I'm just worrying about, you know, some of the uh, anatomical things that are going on, right? That's what we want to do. And so we're going to concentrate on this here. This is kind of soft edge here, and then we're going to come over, bring this over, just like that. Now, I might have been a little harsh with that, but that's what erasers are for. So we can always, and then we can very lightly, I'm about four inches from the subject. I'm going to start doing that side plane here, right? See how I can start making that nose three-dimensional. That's what we want to do. We want to bring everything in three dimensions. So basically our job as painters is to take a two-dimensional surface and give the impression of three, dimensionals, three dimensions. Todd said he would take notes, but he doesn't like taking notes. I can understand, definitely. And uh, Mike's, oh, that's so great that you guys take notes. So and you don't have to take notes. That's why the video is here, too. But I'm a note taker, Mike. That's how I learn. We all have our different learning learning ways, right? going to bring this dark up here. You see how this comes up? Like right here. Just like that. So, honestly, I really feel that we are 
beginning or ready to have the basic structure of Mr. Wonderful's uh, head in three-dimensional space, his, his portrait. So remember, we don't paint the likeness, we always paint the light. Okay, that's another Timism. Paint the light and not the likeness. Tone. Tone says he tries to watch as much as possible, just getting in from work. That's why I record him, my friend, so you can look at him later. Any questions, you guys let me know. I'm always happy. Hey, it's 1130, and that means happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and thank you for painting Mr. Wonderful. Please go ahead on YouTube and hit the share button for me. Uh, that would be great. Hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, those of you out there who aren't subscribers, please go ahead and subscribe. It helps the channel. And this way I can alert you when new, uh, new videos come out that touch on everything. So Willie and everybody, just thank you so much. And uh, you know, Mike and Tone and Scott. Hey, Scott, how you doing? Good to see you. And so, Scott, don't worry. You can see this later, so that's no problem. So, Mike and John and Willie and Brad and Todd and Steve and uh, Steve Johnson, Steve Leahy, everybody. Thank you so much. Wendy, feel better. Willie, always a pleasure. Have a great night, guys, and I will talk to you soon. Let me go ahead and sign off. Take care.